the nice things about this graduation is that it's very different from the other professional schools and that you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your mentor. Nowhere else do you see that uh, in the other schools. And having watched that relationship over many years, I understand that it's complex. You love them, <laughs> you hate them. They drive you one way, you want to go the other. I know it works that way, and yet, here you are here today, having completed that journey with their great support, typically with them sitting beside you as your buddy today. Candidates, faculty members, mentors, friends, family. If it takes a village to raise a child, then it takes an entire university community to graduate its students. Graduates, today is your day. All of us join you your family, friends, and loved ones in celebrating this remarkable achievement. I am pleased to present Dr. Abisola Olapena to the Academy of Scientists. Her dissertation, Patterns, Factors, and Outcomes Associated with Gabapentin Use in Combination with Opioids and Benzodiazepines Among SSDI Eligible Medicare Beneficiaries or Low Income Subsidy Eligible Medicare Beneficiaries has already resulted in publication and served her purpose in pursuing her PhD. I admire Chen Chen's passion for academic research, understanding that conventional data sources and research applications were inadequate to investigate the population impact of suicide prevention efforts, which is a national public health focus. Her simulation and agent-based models generate answers that will impact practice and hopefully save lives. Our next uh, graduate is Dr. Rakib Jamil, and again, uh, his mentor is Dr. James Polly. Two items stand out about Rakib. First, Rakib is always positive and not easily shaken. Even in the face of scientific adversity, he never lost his cool or was visibly disappointed. Rakib comes from a family of pharmaceutical scientists and seems to innately know that tomorrow will come and provide an even better opportunity. Secondly, you can always count on Rakib to see and say something funny. He points out the subtle and not so subtle ironies of everyday life. He puts a smile on your face. Congratulations, Rakib. <laughs> the final test for the PhD. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Slaka was always so supportive and always so helpful, so I never felt like we were <laughs> challenging each other in any way, so it was good. Yoon and I had this kind of weekly partnership, or you know, we'd meet a couple times a week, and. It was really something I looked forward to because we could connect on you know, how things were going for us personally, of course our research as well, what things were on our mind, how things were kind of going up and down with the pandemic and how we related to that. So for me, it was actually a really a, a big source of support for me as well. Like you go through so many meandering things, like ups and downs, like sometimes you just want to give up and other times you don't, but it's just the journey of a graduate student. Hardest part of the process is um, keeping everybody happy and uh, making sure that um, you know it, the project goes smoothly. It never does. There's always twists and turns, and you really no, never know. And it's really having terrific students like Ava who have the perseverance uh, to to you know to go through the the downs and find a way out.